Hi there guys, today we're going to create a simple hinge. I'm just going to make this up as we go along and if you want to you can follow along. And yeah, let me know in the comments if you have any questions and let's get started. I'm going to run through this quite quickly. Um, There's just a sample of what is to come. We're going to make two circles here. I'm going to make one 10 mils. Another 5. Then what we can do is bring this up and bring this up as well and across. I did it that way um, because those it creates that line as you see there, the dotted line um, when I'm going from point to point but it doesn't always do it when you're going from a tangent point like that. It does now but not within your sketch. Okay. So now I'm going to make this 25 long. Oh, we can even bring it down to 20 mils. And add a thickness to this. 2.5 is exactly what we want. Now we can come in with the trim entities tool, cut that all the way. And now you can see that's loose. That is no longer constrained. I mean, Delete this constraint and there we go. Now, what we can do is just finish this off. We don't want that on there cut like that. We want that to be a uh, 2.5 mils actually. Yeah, seems to work well. And we can finish that. Now we go to the extrude feature with two plane. We'll make this make it fifteen. Uh, it's gonna be twenty actually, so we'll make this spot square from there. Yeah, that's good enough. Now what we should do is add in the folds. I'm pressing uh, control eight to bring it to the face you've just selected. Um there's a number of ways we can do this. I'm just gonna create a center point. and make a construction. Now what I'm going to do is create a square for that center point. Make it 12 and let's make it 6. You can select all that, double click for construction and now we can bring in our circles. Holding down shift we're going to select each one and click the equal sign. It's going to make sure they're all so the same, so we only have to edit one. And we're going to click five. Pressing Control Seven brings you to the outside view. Select the cut tool. And we'll just go through all. Okay, now what we need to do is make the slot here for the other hinge. Press sketch. Um, there are definitely a number of ways you can do it. This is just the simplest way that I've found. Um, but do it whichever way you feel. To the cutout, we'll make that about... Let's make that 8. Oh, we can even thicken it up. Let's make it 9. Just because it's going to be one on the other side, we'll thicken it up a bit. And then we select the cut tool again and go mid to plane. Now make sure it is all the way through. Cool. Um, the cool thing about SolidWorks is I don't really like the look of this hinge, so I'm going to go and change a couple things. We're going to make this a lot smaller. We'll use a steel pin instead of a 3D printed pin. Control 8. Let's make that 2.5 5 mils and we'll make this that 
will be one o'clock. Is that correct? One point two five, sorry. There you go. There you go, that looks a bit better, I guess. And uh, we can actually go in here and let's thicken this up to the center line. So we'll just draw a line. Let's go there. To there, we want a 2.5 total. Now we can go and delete this line. There we go, you'll see now why I've done that. Um, now what we should look at doing is making the chamfer a bit smaller as well. Uh, the fillet, sorry. Right. I'll make that make one more. That should be good. And let's save it. Save it as image one. Now what we're going to do, we're going to save this file again, and we're going to make it hinge 02. That is because we don't want to recreate everything. Now you can see how it's changed to hinge 02. If we go back to this, let's see if this works. Now I'm just going to grab that tool. Equal. Uh, make that just fine. Uh, make it later. Okay, so it's giving us an error. What we'll do is just create. Just draw it in by hand like that. I believe it's giving me an error because of some overlap lines here. Okay, so basically what it's doing is just SolarWorks is very it's not the best software, I'm not gonna lie. Um I much prefer it doesn't give you as many errors as SolidWorks does, that's for sure. But let me not blame the software too much. Save this. Now we can close that. We open a new assembly and we browse and we bring in both of these. Now we use the Google Triad tool. I will make these two faces. And we make the concentric as well. And now we have a, a working part. So the reason I thickened this up is because if you look at this place, this plane here, or this face, sorry, close they're close together quite nicely, so it's gonna be a very low profile. Um, the other one, the original one, had, could have had a large gap in here. It's better. Now, if you guys want to, we can add in the pin that goes through. So now we made this 20 long and 2.5 diameter. Sorry, wrong one. Now, 
you don't have to do it this way. I just like modeling things in the way they're going to sit in the semi. So when you bring them in, they're already in place. Um, but it's definitely up to you. Um, do whatever feels best for you. Symmetric. Slide that over. We'll give that a two more head. Break those two point. Break a two point three. And this one we can just make. Oh, we'll make it five. We'll make it look the heads nicely. And the length. I think we can just go with 25. Um, so you're not going to get any sort of um, pin through here to lock it in place. So we'll just make it straight 25. But what we will do, we'll do it now actually. We'll add in just a little groove here. Not really a groove, like a, a nub. Okay, we'll just swap that away. And we'll give it a point six. And let's bring it closer so we'll make this five. The right end there. And let's just lock it into place. Seven. Okay, that looks way too big. That's definitely not going to fit into the three printed parts. Um, no much space there. Okay, now let's take this out for now. this correctly. And we'll do this here, we'll add in a so one more chamfer. Point four point four chamfer. And so that is pin. Now we can close this. The four component. I like it that it's already orientated in the correct way. So all we have to do is make we don't have to worry about it facing the wrong way or anything would be um, use the make command. There should be far more different. Uh, three more. Go back into this. And we'll mark minus three. And there we go. Total of twenty. There's your working part. Ah, thanks guys for watching. Um, if you have any questions, I know this is a very, very basic part. Uh, this is one of the first tutorials I've done. Um, and I really appreciate you guys' feedback. Thanks a lot and enjoy.